the well-known XRP versus SEC. What is gonna happen there? Hello folks and welcome to a place where we tell you everything you want to know and everything you need to know regarding your favorite cryptocurrency. In this video, we are gonna be talking about XRP. And of course, I will be providing you with the price prediction on the on the token so if you want to find out where is this price going to go from here make sure to stay with us till the end because i would not want you to miss out on some of the interesting news we have prepared for you guys now before we go over the news let me first share some interesting stats with you folks take a look at this the current value of xrp is 0 0.8224 uh, and that's actually a drop in the amount of 5.59 percent and there's also a slight rise in the trading volume in the amount of 0.33%. But now, take a look at the chart, boys and girls. Take a look at the tw uh, last 24-hour chart. If you remember it from yesterday, it was all nice, beautiful, and green. But take a look at it now. At the beginning of the day, we were in green. We were actually up by 0.89. But then, at this point, we actually crashed to the support level of 0.80 and got back a bit but just a bit so if you want to find out where are we gonna go from here make sure you stay with us till the end when i provide you with that prognosis now let's go back to the news that i started the video with earlier today ripple filled its sir reply regarding the sec motion to strike the fair notice affirmative defense notably sec argued that prior lawsuits against crypto companies provided a fair notice to ripple the SEC and Ripple have been in a long and messy legal battle, I'm sure that you already heard about it, since December 2020. It's been accused that Ripple and its two key executives were selling unregistered security knowingly. Ripple had made it clear that SEC never issued any guidance that would indicate XRP was a security. Now just to remind you guys, this lawsuit is still in the discovery phase, so both sides have options to produce their evidence in their case and present their case of course so i don't think that this lawsuit will be ending anytime soon at least not in this year so it may take either way now to go back on that chart take a look at the last seven day chart guys i'm sure you remember it it was all nice and green and green as it can be but what happened right now where is this dot going from here Stay tuned if you want to find out. But first of all, I would need to share one more detail with you. Check out the all-time high uh, XRP actually had back on January 4th. We are 78.63% away from it. If it continues on this range, if the price continues in this range, I'm not sure that we will be reaching that old all-time high anytime soon. But before we continue with the prediction, let me first share some other things with you guys. Check this out. Ripple does have a very strong community on Twitter, 2.4 million followers actually. And regarding Ripple, they are constantly making new partnerships, developing the industry. But why doesn't it reflect at the moment positive for the XRP? Why is XRP down? Now, the lawsuit may have something to do with it. They are struggling, they are trying to gain strength on that front, but for some reason, it doesn't look like either of the sides is leading in the battle. For a second there, it looks like the Ripple and the XRP were leading, but again, every day is something different. Now, also, let me show you this. Take a look at this. This is a Ripple official takeaway from the Senate committee hearing on crypto assets. Agriculture and crypto don't seem like they have anything, uh, anything a lot in common, but the Senate Agriculture Committee hearing on crypto assets triggered strong reactions from crypto stakeholders across the board. While it's hard to define whether the hearing bodies ill or not for investors, a Ripple official has shared their take on the processing. Listen to this folks. Ripple's head public, uh, of public policy, Susan Friedman, called the hearing provocative and positive as she expressed a wish to see more such discussions in future. According to Friedman, some major topics of debate included the Commodity Futures Trading Commission potential role in regard uh, regulating the crypto sector, as well as need for America not to lose on its crypto rival. So guys, let me just uh, tell you a short version. What Ripple is trying to do is uh, uh, ask 
trying to get the Commodity Futures Trading Commission instead of SEC to regulate crypto uh, regulations. It would be much better for them. But they are actually trying to use a conflict in, between CFTC and SEC. As let me just remind her, just remind you, while uh, SEC chair, chair Gary Gensler has often favored Wild West imaginary to describe the crypto sector in America, former CFTC Commissioner Brian Quintenes has called this the language of persecution and manipulation. So it would be much better for Ripple if CFTC takes over the regulations. Now, with everything I have just shown you guys, with all the news and all the stats, you did saw the graph. Uh, first of all, I would need to tell you that I'm not a financial advisor, so if you are willing to invest in any kind of cryptocurrency, you should do your own research on this. However, with all we just saw, I can safely say that I personally would re restrain myself from entering the XRP market right away. If you are still not into XRP, Take your time, hold for a little more and see where this is gonna go because in the near future I don't see it breaking its resistance and I only, also I don't see it getting out of the red anytime soon guys. If you like this video please share and thank you for viewing.